Maxim Grunin, part two, continuing working on a, a little landscape painting project. In uh, part one, uh, we've seen me set up uh, composition with trees, roughly. So everything got blocked in. All of the colors, major groups of dark, mid-tone, and light. Uh, objects were uh, decided and put in place. Now I am uh, refining and adding a few more elements. Uh, a canopy of leaves. It is a, a dark uh, area and it um, occupies quite a bit of space within the picture plane, within a frame. So I added darker green uh, information at the top and off to the sides and then I mixed a lighter color to work back into that layer or into that paint newly added to break it up a little bit with mid-tone color information that could be found within uh, tree foliage. Uh, the way I work is, um, it's uh, layering, layering and moving stuff around a little bit. Uh, I am applying lighter information to bump up some areas to get myself, uh, give myself an idea of how contrasty things will get when the project is closer to being finished now with addition of highlight and it's it's not finished highlight without any detail however it gives me a sense of uh, total contrast between black and then darker greens darker purples grays blue and up 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 to almost pure white everything uh, comes in and mass e n and mass uh, i am recognizing um overall larger um sections for the longest time without focusing on uh, detail information and also uh, color information is important to me once i mixed some darker purples to uh, add within a mid-tone of several areas within the picture. I want to distribute that purple or various shades of that purple in many different areas of the rectangle so there is a, a harmonious a flow of color information. I move uh, from uh, one area to another within a picture as uh, as a initiative. Uh, it's it's like a balancing act. I am uh, looking at the image and I am able to see uh, areas that look flat or um, not uh, moving along, not dancing together with the rest of the surface. So I uh, decide what I should or could add to those areas. And right now I'm showing how I'm building some transition between light, then lighter mid-tones and a little bit darker mid-tones, and how brush strokes could be descriptive and placed on an angle to describe a tree trunk, for example, my brush strokes are moving slightly around and on a slant, uh, kind of describing the 3D properties of the trees. And here I am starting to place some highlight or light information, breaking up um, darker greens in different areas with a really light yellowy green. Thanks for joining me. I wish everyone 
a lot of creative uh, fun and inspiration. And thanks so much for your attention. Please hit the like button if you want. Join the channel. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.